He has a good surge off the ball. He's a big body, light on his feet. Doesn't give up on plays easily, you know. If I get him off the ball a little bit, I know I'm gonna have to keep striving, keep, uh, keep grinding, so uh, he doesn't fall off the block and make a play. EJ has, you know, the strength, the movement skills. He needs to be able to go ahead and be a big mark on our defense this year. On the field, I'm EJ. They call me a menace in the trenches. EJ Dunstan, a menace in the trenches. I think that he has a lot of talent. I think that EJ has so much potential to be a dominant player. And I guess the first step for him is believing it, and it sounds like he does. EJ is a funny guy, always joking around in the locker room and stuff like that. I mean, you probably see him serious and calm man and on the field. He's a guy that likes to lead by example, not necessarily talking. He's always the first to every drill that we do. He always uh, takes the bull by the horns as far as leadership. He's not really one of those guys who's going to do a lot of talking. He's going to be the first. He's going to show the guys the proper way to run the drills. He's going to be the one who wants to take every single rep. He's the guy that shows the younger guys the proper way to do it. I only have one veteran player with Dunstan. The thing that's hard is you have to have leadership in order for them to develop. And I think Dunstan is trying to take that role. And if he continues progressing the way he is, yeah, he could be an unstoppable guy. EJ's a beast. You know, he's a big body inside. You know, I think that he's lining himself up to have his best season. I'm expecting big things of him, and I'm expecting to take a leadership role on that defensive line. I'm always expected out of you. You know, if things are going bad, you know, you have to lead them. You have to be on them. You can't accept nothing. You can't accept mediocre. Everything has to be great, especially on defense. I feel like it's just a great opportunity for myself personally, you know, to go against somebody as talented as him every day. I see him having potentially his best year ever this year as a senior. EJ is the proud father. I remember when he first brought you know, the baby in, first thing he did, march him into Coach O'Leary's office and, and show him off. He's really stepped up and, and taken charge of his responsibilities. Everything now is about my son. He's all I think about when it comes to decision making. Is this going to affect anything for Jordan? Is this going to put me in any type of situation where I won't be able to be around him? Is this going to make a better life for me and Jordan? You know, everything I think about is about him. I think he's very happy and proud of his son. I think that he's a very kind person. He comes on in, he's a very easy guy to talk to. I think his teammates like to hang out with him. So off the field, he's a, a good kid. They all love when I bring Jordan around. They all love to see him. I just remember walking by uh, Coach Zoe's office one day, and uh, I guess he was just born, and uh, EJ had him in his arms. It looked like he was holding like a burrito. He was getting ready to snack on it because the kid's so small and EJ's so big. So. <laughs> EJ is definitely different on and off the field. I think you have to be to be a football player at all, but to also a defensive lineman, you kind of have to shut the rest of the world out and just focus on your assignment, the hit you need to make. But off the field, he's able to separate that and really kind of be a, a teddy bear. On the field, you, you're going to be a, a gorilla, but when it comes to your, your kids, they're, they're the most precious thing in the world. So you got to be that teddy bear. I am a teddy bear when it comes to my son because I love to see him and he can get to me no matter what. He has a wonderful child and, and uh, he's very proud of his child. And, and you know, me as a coach, what I want to make sure that he does, you know, as a coach, you want to make sure that these guys grow up being responsible fathers, taking care of their business, and good husbands, hopefully later on, and be good people in society. Bottom line is, you know, he's going to walk out of here with a degree and he'll have an opportunity as an educated person to be able to get a job and be able to support his family. I ask God all the time to show me the path, show me the way so me and him both can follow in the right footsteps.